We got the milk cam. Very pink in here. We got the milk cam. Be careful, don't drop it. Let's open up these windows. Okay. Good morning. What is up with this song? I'm sorry I'm Hayden, but it, I think it is a really bad song. But then who am I to judge? I like Baby Finger. Who, where are you? <laughs> I'm picking up JB. She slept at Mama and Papa's house. I love my mom. She always tries to sneak Juliana and she bribes her too. Last night she's like, Juliana, you want to sleep at Mama and Papa's house? I have chocolate. On today's menu, oatmeal, raisins, and a whole bunch of honey inside the middle. Most of that's for daddy. This oatmeal is from Trader Joe's. And the directions say to cook it for 30 minutes. That's even a little long for me. Oh, here. This got a little more texture to it. You gotta chew it a little bit, huh? Come on. Judy didn't want to put the straps on them because when they start choking sometimes, it takes forever to take them out. It freaks Judy out, which is understandable. You eat all your oatmeal if you guys don't eat it. Huh? Oh, hello there. Nice of you to join us. Yeah. Here from Mama's. These two ate pretty well. No, just lounging around. My phone's ringing. Got emails coming in. Who wouldn't want to just do this? Hang out with their ladies. Oh, all the single ladies. All the single ladies. So you're 18 years old, okay? You guys are gonna know how to choose Daddy, men, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to choose Daddy. a man. And they've gotta be uh, a gentleman. Okay, that's enough. They've got to be kind. Mm. Oh, oh! What's probably more important mm. is, mm. is a man skilled in something? Is he skilled? Does he have a passion? Mm. Hmm? So you ladies, you, you, you. If you're watching this later on in life, just remember, you want someone that loves you. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. I really do hope you don't date till you're 18, though. That would be awesome. That would really, like, help my stress level. <laughs> Juliana? God, is she still sleeping? Hello? My parents must have dropped her off already. Hi, my babies. Oh, honey, come, honey. Hi. Yay. What is going on with the outfit? <laughs> uh oh, stickers everywhere. Can I get a kiss? Did you have fun at Mama and Papa's house? Yes. Mama. What did you do? Feeding. Feeding. Feeding? Yes. Okay. Hi there, Mia. <laughs> I'm back to my egg, avocado, and soy sauce dish. I love it. It's like my favorite There's breakfast. Seaweed. I don't There's eat. Oh, look, look. There's already seaweed right here. You can just have flakes of it. Oh, yeah. Is it still cr uh, crispy, I though? Think it's okay. The girls are going to share this with me. I know they're going to be like, Mom. Oh, yeah. They're going to love it. You so I put, put a little bit more. Hey guys, I'm cleaning out my drawers. It's about time. I haven't cleaned out my drawers in years and it's gotten to the point where everything is just piling up and I'm stuffing my clothes in there and every time I'm looking for like a specific tank top or leggings, it's just all a mess. So it's time to do another purge and this is my pajama pile. 
I'm finally getting rid of my zebra print jammies. I cannot seem to get rid of these ones though. These are my very old penguin jammies. I did our very first dance number in these jammies three years ago. I cannot part with them. <laughs> these ones I feel like I could get rid of as well. This is an adult onesie. I can't get rid of this because there's going to be an event or a party or a slumber party I'm going to go to that requires adult onesies, so I'm going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of these <laughs> Oh my god! I wore these the night Juliana was born. Or the night I was about to give birth. Should I keep them? This holds such a sentimental value to me. I'm gonna keep them. I feel like I'm on an episode of Borders and I'm that person that just can't let go. These are my new pair of favorite jammies from Soma. I think I'm an old lady now because Soma is like an old person. I think it's a more mature people lingerie and I really like it. I am gonna let go of these jammies. They're fairly new but they're way oversized. I bought them when I was at the last leg of Mia and Kira's pregnancy. So I just filmed a video for It's Judy Time, my February favorites, and my foot is numb. I was sitting on my foot for some reason. Every time I talk about makeup, I just get so excited. I think I talked really fast in this video because I was excited. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of this. This box is literally full of false lashes. And uh, if you want to know where I got that, I mentioned it in the video. My foot, oh my gosh, it's at that numb stage where it feels like tiny ants. I just need to take a break from my editing. I hear Juliana and the girls playing outside. So let's just check them out. I think it'll be a good pick-me-up because I've been sitting down working on this the past few hours. I just need to get my butt up and get some hugs for my girls. <laughs> Yes, are you playing? Oh, this one, open this one. What color are you going to get? There's green. Aww. Let's see how she feels when she touches the cement. What is it, Key Bear? You can touch it, it's okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, hi. Hi! Just, oh, careful. She has it like the whole time. Oh, she has. I was sitting out in, on like the car with her and she oh, was freaking out. Come on, Kay Bear. Are you touching the gravel? One, blood. Yes. So we just drew Chewy on top of a rainbow and Chewy is looking at Chewy. You, you. Yeah, that's you, Chewy. <laughs> hey, you don't hold Chewy by the ear. That's Owie. Off? Turn off? Yeah, go ahead. You can turn it off. Stay off us. I um, haven't been in here for a while, but I am gonna hang out with my brother. Actually, we're taking care of some real estate video stuff. Got banana, water, going to hot yoga today. I'm actually curious to see how I'll do because um, I've done yoga, was pretty good at it, and I love it, but to do it in a room that's really hot and you're sweating, I hope we get a nice workout today, so. Right, let's see what Julian's up to. Hello. Hey, what's up? You're on vlog. If Am you're I? okay with that, um, <laughs> you guys probably okay with that. you guys probably know Eugene. Yeah, I've been on several videos. Uh, what is your uh, YouTube name? Uh, Comic Shop TV or Cap and Design TV? Huh? <laughs> Can I work the camera? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thanks. So. What's up guys, I'm Tesna Benji's S120. I'm gonna film a quick video in my new office. I got not a lot going on, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. My new digs. 
I'm all by myself. You can check it out. So my assistants kicked me out of my office, so I'm all in this big old room by myself. Hopefully I can fill it someday with some new friends. But for the time being, it's just Julie Bear in my fortress of solitude. And I'm filming film random videos today and I forgot my camera, so I have to borrow Benji's. So let's see if this works. Yeah, it's... Today's comment of the day actually made me smile. And it's from Hana X Butu, and she said, Today I was on my university bus, which is called College Tram. I saw two girls watching today's vlog and yesterday's vlog. I was so shocked. I've never seen anyone else who watched you guys like me. I wanted to say hi to them and tell them I watched It's Judy's Life too, but they were too far from my seat and I didn't want to seem creepy. <laughs> That is so cool. You know, actually, a year ago, somebody tweeted me a photo, and it was in the community transit. That's what we call our public transportation here. He took a picture of this girl on her iPad watching It's Judy's Life, and she wrote something like, I felt like I had a connection with her. I, I wanted to say hi, but I thought that was so cool, and it's so awesome that somebody so close to you watches like a complete stranger and it's really exciting to me and surreal and weird at the same time but um yeah i just really enjoyed that comment so thank you for that in fact my mom just posted this on facebook 29 years ago this day the space shuttle challenger breaks apart over the atlantic ocean off the coast of florida 73 seconds after liftoff killing all seven astronauts on board for those of you that don't know, I was actually named after two of the astronauts that were aboard that space shuttle because I was born several days after. I thought that was really sweet that my parents named me after somebody that just lost their lives a few days before. That's why my name is Judith because <laughs> Judith isn't a common name for people my age. It's kind of like I, I have never met another Judy or Judith my age. Everybody else is much, much older. So when I first was starting in real estate, at least as a real estate agent, um, and I had no money, I couldn't afford an office, I used this free space over here. I would literally sit here and make like hundreds of phone calls for anywhere from seven to ten hours a day. This was my spot. I'm kind of glad that no one sits in it. Cause it's still my spot. Daddy Bear is at yoga. He's at hot yoga for the first time ever. Man, I really wish I was there with him. Cause I want to see. I want to see if he could hang. Which I'm pretty sure he can. Cause he's done yoga before and he's pretty good at it. Like he's quite flexible and I guess it helps. He's had years and years of Taekwondo and I was about to say Boy Scouts, but Boy Scouts I don't think requires like flexibility. <laughs> Amy is teaching a class, Awakened with Amy, on Instagram. And I attended her class several weeks ago. I felt it was a really good workout. Um, it's not Bikram, it's like a power vinyasa class. So it's 60 minutes of, I guess you would call it a yoga flow. Here, you can play with these ones, huh? You love playing with little pots. Juliana woke up on the wrong side of the crib. Can you guys hear her upstairs? She's on the phone right now. And she keeps saying, I'm not done, I'm not done. I'm gonna feed the girls in the living room. Lately, Kira's been almost like climbing out of her high chair. And it freaks me out. Um, Benji mentioned earlier, like the straps. One of the babies was like choking and I was trying to get the baby out and it took forever to take out the strap. Like the trip chop straps are a freaking joke. Anyway, it takes forever. And I got so pissed and I'm like, we are never going to put those straps around the shoulders ever again. Anyway, so then if I'm not able to sit and focus on feeding just the babies, I'd rather just feed them off the floor while they're standing. I know it sounds weird. I just feel more comfortable doing that now. <laughs> Poor baby, she's so upset right now. I know, she's just tired. What happened? There's no sound coming out there. I just got done with hot yoga. Felt awesome. Way better than regular yoga. Uh, but I was tripping. I, when I sweat, I sweat. And I sweat just from like a regular temperature. 
uh, yoga or just when I'm working out, but I was drenched at the end. And now I'm starved. I'm starving, so I'm gonna uh, order some food. And the lady is making some um, a pie salad, my favorite. Okay, so we calmed down. It just took a little while. One. T. R. Is mommy right? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, because he doesn't get to stay up there with the star? Yes, stay up star. I almost ordered duck curry because I was craving duck. Yeah. So when you told me that, I was so happy. <laughs> and what do I come home to? More food! And this is duck. We actually bought this frozen. Where did we get this frozen? Oh yeah, so we bought this Wajimai frozen and we love duck after candles, so. I heard you had a bad day today. Did you need a hug? Is that yeah. what you needed? Huh? Uh, you want to see it? Yes. You want some of that? You want to try it? Yeah, I'm going to cut it and put it in rice. What do you think about that? Yes? It's so good. Oh, so good. That's my girl. She loves duck rice. We got this beef salad. That looks spicy. Which, oh, spicy and it's delicious. Papaya salad, which is also spicy, and pad thai. Show me some of the yoga moves you learned oh, today. Yeah, actually, uh, I didn't really. Yeah! Give me a lot of difficulty. I didn't think it would. Was this awkward pose? This really gave me a lot of trouble, but I could do everything else. <laughs> Rest of those legs up. Let's go. Wow, she's a professional walker. Really? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Hey Come Mia. Now. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> Good job, Mia. <laughs> Good job, Mia. <laughs> Thanks for helping your sister. <laughs> Notice how she goes like this. And she like hugs her sister. She like takes her arms and she kind of squeezes it to her face. She's actually m most of the time very, very gentle because she does that with me and she's really soft. Although it looks aggressive, babies themselves do it. Kira does it a lot. Especially when she's eating. She goes, so weird that there's not really a term in English, right, mom? Is there an English term for gigil? It's really weird. Do only Filipinos do it? Is that awkward? Oh, Have you question. seen anybody else do it? That is a good question. Actually, I would gigil oh. with Benji sometimes back in the day. And he used to think I was the weirdest person, but I would like gigil with his arm. Call out to Valerie because. You did a pretty good job. Oh my god, the ending was hilarious. Uh, uh, mimicking Mia's army crawl, but this is even better. And I'm gonna do it with JB on me. Hold, hold on, Joanna. First off, you have to curve the arms like this, okay? And you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can do it better. Now, watch. Where's, no, honey, where's Kira? She's over there. Okay. That's her like pooing spot. Is, does she look like she's taking care of business? <laughs> I was gonna try to do it without any weight on. Her, oh, okay. But I'm gonna still do it.
jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Awee! Morning entertainment for you ladies. Huh? Did you like that?